All right, folks, what is going on? This episode 509 of the First and Frame Rate Show. I am Via Volo. Over here, we talk about George Southern and Atlanta Falcons football. And today, we're going to talk about the Falcons a little bit more. Uh, I know I just did a video on my YouTube channel discussing the Falcons when it comes to the last game of the season when they played the Buccaneers. But I want to really talk about this entire season. So we're going to grade the 2022 2023 season, give you my thoughts and opinions on pretty much each game. Not going to get into too much of each game because we'll be talking here all day but i will give you my thoughts and opinions and I, I think it'll make it a pretty you know pretty decent show to evaluate and grade this entire season uh if this is your first time here welcome i could be found on youtube and rumble so if you're over there give me a thumbs up hit that like button let people know what i'm doing over here also i can be found on youtube i mean anchor stitcher spotify apple and google podcast so if you want to listen to this show at your leisure those are your uh, avenues to do so um also um this show is brought to you by bet us put a hundred dollars down click that link down in the description put a hundred dollars down and you will be able to get 125 percent bet book bonus so you can put some wages down on any of these playoff games coming up any of the nba games you can find out what the lines are or who can do what and how many quarters or whatever the case may be or who would just flat, uh, flat out win a game you know, it doesn't have to just to be any of those. So you can bet on so many things, NBA, NFL, MMA, college football, all that other good stuff, uh, eSports, everything. So click that link down in the description, and we're going to get right into this show. The season started off with Marcus Mariota with being the starter. You know, we, we drafted Desmond Ritter. You know, we drafted Drake London. You already had Kyle Pitts on the, you know, and, and, you know, on the uh, other side of the football, uh, other, other side of the receiving side of the field. So we thought it was going to have a pretty good offense. Cordell Patterson is returning. It was going to look good. First game of the season, you saw that went down. We ended up losing to the Saints by one. Then we almost beat the, beat the Rams. By, and we came back and almost beat the Rams. Then we were 0-2. Turn around, went on a two-game winning streak, beat the Seahawks and the Browns. Then we almost beat the Buccaneers 15-21. to We all know, how, all know how that happened, which that game turned out to be very important for the end of the season. With that rough in the passer call, which was absolutely terrible, but we ended up losing that game 15 to 21. This whole season was pretty much on an even kill up and down. There was no runaway situation in this in this season. And and in some cases, you look at the quarterback play, you really thought that, hey, if we get the quarterback play that we need to get, we'll be fine. And uh so we thought that we was gonna get start to get it up and running. We ended up beating the 49ers 28-14, which was a very impressive win, all things considering. Then we end up losing to probably the most embarrassing game. Well, one of the most embarrassing games we had when we played against the Buccaneers. I mean, I'm sorry, the Bengals, 35-17. We had, you know, that game was just the game that, that we, we couldn't have done nothing about that game. We go up against the Panthers, one of the wildest games, if not the wildest game of the season, when we beat the Panthers in overtime, 34-37. Then the Chargers game, when it was the fumble, oh, my God. You know, we could have won that game, but we end up, you know, taking the fun, um, getting the ball and fumbling, going down the sideline. You know how that goes. 20 to 17. Then you turn around and you look at the Panthers. We played them again, which I feel this game was a 22 to 15 game, but they kicked the field goal with a few seconds left to make the, a 10 point game. That was the game when I was done with Mariota personally. I, I, I felt like I was done with them, but I knew nothing was going to change. Turn around. We end up playing against the Bears. We beat the Bears. So there was a little bit of hope left. Lose to the commanders on a goal line stance, basically, where the ball was tipped and intercepted, 13 to 19. Then we turn around and lose to the to the Steelers, 19 to 16. And uh, I think at that point, I really, you know, really the, the commanders game, I was really, really done. You know, because I knew, like, this was it. I think I did a whole video about being done with them, per se. But Desmond Ritter comes in. Plays against the Saints with the uh, and uh, we end up losing that game eighteen to twenty one, but Desmond Ritter showed a lot of promise. Turn around against the Ravens once again, only scored nine points. The defense did their job, and I think defense did their job pretty much throughout this entire season, which we'll talk about that before the show's over. Seventeen to nine, we end up losing that game, and um, look, seventeen to nine. Desmond Ritter played a little bit better, but I felt like there was a lot of missed opportunities on that in that game because. You saw the chemistry between Desmond Ritter and uh and uh Drake London. You start to see that. Uh 
Falcons ended up beating the Cardinals 19 to 20 in the next game. And that was a pretty good game. Game winning drive, go downfield and win the game for uh, the Falcons. Desmond Ritter gets the first win of the season, first comeback victory, and the first uh, game winning drive. So you couldn't beat that. That was a pretty good uh, game right there for them. And the last game we just got finished talking about when we talk about the Falcons versus the Buccaneers, 30 to 17. I say that this is probably one of the best games I've seen, even though the competition wasn't one or, you know, you know, first string like everybody wants, like to say everybody. It wasn't first string like a lot of people say it should have been, but you're dealing with rookies. Like I said, these guys are pretty much trying to get their feet settled in when it comes to the actual football uh, or, you know, NFL professional football. So, I talk mostly about offense on that. When I look at the defense, it's not much to say about the defense. The defense pretty much held their own for the most part. I really wish we would have got some more pass rush. But outside of that, um, I think the defense did okay, all things considering. I mean, there were points where I think it was, let me look, one, two, three, uh, I think four. There was only four times this season that they allowed over 24 points. Maybe five. So I think the defense did pretty good. I think just the offense was just so lackluster to the point where we just was not able to execute. We held the Buccaneers to 17 this last game. I mean, like the prominent games that really that you really look at. Um, you know, the prominent games that we you want to look at. We held the uh let me see, the Chargers to 20 points. You know, we held the Bears to 24. Uh, another game that I put in the Steelers. Like, all the games down the stretch, we held the teams down to under 20 points. You gotta understand that. The last six games of the season, we held the teams down to twenty uh, under 20 points. And that's what you want in a defense. I mean, you do that, you should be winning games. Before that, um, before that, the Bears scored 24. Falcons scored, uh, no, it's not fact, but the Panthers scored uh, 15. You know, the Panthers scored 34, but that was an overtime, and that was a win. The Chargers scored 20. So I think the defense collectively did pretty good, even though we lost Casey Hayward, and, you know, and, and you know the injury bug caught him, and we really were not able to have a cornerback number two. You had Armstrong, Isaiah Oliver. You had a few, few people just step up and play pretty good. So I'm looking at this and like, it's all good. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Now, I'm just gonna say this before I close this out. What I'm a great, what I'll grade this team. After talking all that time, what do I grade them? Because I know a lot of people are probably asking. Um, I give this season. I, I really give the season a C plus. I think C plus is legit. Maybe C minus. I'll say C plus because I think I, I think Marcus May owed a pretty much weight this team down. And uh, to be honest with you. It should, it, it would be a B if they would have won the division. Because it did, I mean, it was pretty sloppy play on offense. But what I talked about earlier about the the Buccaneers game when we lost 21 to 15, that rough in the passing call, if we would have turned that game around and won that game, we would have won this division. So you're talking about between a C plus and a B, and I'm, I'm giving it a C plus because we had no business winning seven games once again. Last year, we won seven games with literally no receivers. We had Russell Gage and Kyle Pitts, a rookie Kyle Pitts, which, like I said, they don't mean, you know, much now because, you know, you know, he's, you know, it's just basically what it is. <laughs> you know, you had a rookie Kyle Pitts and a Russell Gage basically throwing the ball to throw the ball to. And this year, with the poor play, and I'll say this again, with the poor play of Marcus Mariota, you know, with the poor play of Marcus Mariota, we end up, you know, losing a lot more games than we did. I think there was some stat out there saying that uh, Mike Conti, uh, yeah, Matt Conti was uh, saying that we, uh, like, in eight of the ten games, there was, like, one score or less or whatever the case may be. It was really weird, you know, and I'm looking at the score. I'm looking at the score, right, the scores right now, and I'm like, okay, one point, you know, one possession of one score games. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen games were six points less. 
13 games or six point less. So that's what I'm saying. The, the, these games could have swung wildly based on, you know, one play here or there. So even with all that, these guys were able to pull up seven wins. When in some cases said we were the worst team in the league and should have had two. So I, you could make a case right there. You can get a higher grade for that. But I feel like with, with everything, how everything played out, the way the defense played, the way the offense played, the way the quarterback play was, even with Tyler Algier getting over 1,000 yards, congratulations to him. I feel like, and, and the play of Desmond Riddle was actually pretty good. You know, even with that being said, I still give it a C plus because I felt like a lot of these one-point game or one-score games could have been flipped if half of them was flipped. If, if half of these one-point games were flipped, we, we would have had 12 or 13 wins. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's something to think about. So that's all I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you guys think. C plus for the Falcons. C plus for the Falcons. C plus for the Falcons. If you like this commentary, hit the like button. Share this podcast. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button. Let people know what we're doing over here. Share this podcast. Let people know what we're doing over here. Click that link down in the description. Hit Bet US for Bet US and put that $100 down. Get 125% bet book bonus. It helps the channel out. Hopefully, you guys will be able to follow me throughout this journey through the offseason because there's going to be a lot to talk about. We're going to be talking about some George Southern uh, football. We got another quarterback on deck. You know, we're going to be talking more Falcons. We got a lot of cap space and draft and the draft is coming up. So hopefully you guys will follow and I will see you and I'll see you guys then and I'll talk to you guys then. All right, y'all. I'll take it easy and y'all be blessed. Peace.